morning everybody. Headingly Flying J, right where we went to bed last night. Us and our dirty windshield are still here. A lot of people are gone already though. We got here about two in the morning. yesterday's video I was gonna make it more about trucking and us going to go pick up this trailer and getting you know ready to get loaded this morning it was gonna be a whole big you know whole big vlog I didn't create as many vlogs this last week because I was at home getting old blue looked after and also spending time with my family it was a long weekend uh, August long so uh, it was good it was really it was nice to have that time uh, it was an unscheduled vacation, you can call it that. Yeah, I wasn't planning on it, but it just happened. Nothing we can do about it, but I'm not complaining. I really enjoyed it. It's nice to have those every now and then. So uh, I'm back in the truck. Today we're gonna go pick up a load of concrete in Winnipeg. We're bringing it to Yorkton, Saskatchewan. That way, west. Once we drop it there, we come back empty. We're gonna pick up another one. We're gonna do that three times, three loads. I'm not gonna be able to do it all in one day. We're trying to get it done by the end of the week. Today when I'm filming this is a Wednesday. So these videos come out a little bit later. It takes me a little bit of time to put them all together. You understand, you've been here a long time. I've been making videos for a long time. So sit back, relax, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss when my videos do go out. And you can go to my playlists on my channel on my main page and see all of my videos all the way back to 2011. Let's get going. I'm here for my first of three loads. It's going to be a load just like that one over there, but more. So we're going to be heavy. There he goes right there with two of them. I'm going to throw as many as they can on my trailer, and I'm going to head off to Saskatchewan. Dressed in my Sunday best. Start the day off right. Not too sure how many of those things are going to throw on me. But I picked up a load similar to this in Edmonton once. It was Edmonton, right? Right? I think so. They're pretty easy to tie down. Uh, they, they're usually two layers. And the top layer holds down the bottom layer. You'll see once I get it loaded and stuff. But we got to get out of here. Uh, well... Then again, I'm not really in a big rush. Cause I, I got to deliver it in the morning in Yorkton, and let's let's see how far is Yorkton from here. Let's ask the uh, the Almighty Internet, the knower of all things, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. It's the next province west from here. It's not that far. Four hundred and seventy-two kilometers. Uh, hold on, there, my American friends. Hold on, I know how to speak American too. What did I say? 472, 472 divided by 1.61. 293 miles. I go there and I come straight back. I don't think I'm going to get there in time to get unloaded today. Maybe though. Yeah, maybe. Depends how long they want to stay there. But it's going to take a little while to load me. You got to load each piece one at a time, or maybe two at a time. It's going to take a little while to unload me. I'm guessing, just from experience, they're probably going to want to unload me first thing in the morning tomorrow, which is fine. But then I'm only driving about 300 miles today. And then tomorrow we get unloaded first thing in the morning there. We rush back 300 miles back here, empty. That's okay, because we're in a hurry. We gotta get back here, pick up another load, same thing, go right back to where we delivered that last one. So that'll be 300 here, 300 back. That's a 600 mile day, or like uh, nine or a thousand kilometers or so, something like that, full day. Pretty good, pretty good day. 
and we'll rush back here, get loaded, rush back there, sleep there, unload the next morning, and then do it again. Rush back here, get loaded, and then that's going to be a Friday, though. So I might have to take that load home and then deliver that on Monday, depending on if they're at their site on Saturday. If they're there and on their site and able to unload me Saturday morning, that'd be great, because then I'd go deliver it Saturday morning and then go home for a reset and then start on something new on Monday. This is all stuff we're gonna figure out as we go along. We're just gonna focus on load number one of three right now. Once we get loaded, we'll know what we're dealing with, we'll tie it down, we'll get out there, we'll talk to our contact when we get there and then kind of figure out how the rest of the week's gonna go with these three loads and when they wanna unload that last one. It says in my computer here where uh, all of my information is that I'll be unloading it Monday morning. Mm, we'll see, maybe I can uh, use, my, uh, use my persuasion skills to be unloaded on Saturday if they're on site. But chances are it's Saturday, they're not gonna site okay so we're just gonna assume that they're not gonna be but we're gonna keep our fingers crossed and hope that they will be <laughs> that's okay if I gotta deliver it Monday that's fine that means that I go home I come here I load on Friday afternoon and then I go home for Saturday and then Sunday I'll head out there sleep there and then Monday morning unload either way I either spend Saturday at home or I spend Sunday at home either we don't have any plans this weekend I don't think if we do, my wife has definitely told me at least five times in the last four days already. But I don't think we have plans this next weekend, so it doesn't matter which day I'm, I'm home on. I'll have to double check with the boss at home to make sure we don't. But I'm pretty sure because this last weekend I was already at home for unscheduled amount of time. Uh, rest of the month, I'm just going to want to go, 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 go. I don't want to make any definite plans to be home. I'll just get home when I get home and enjoy my time when I'm there. But I, I <laughs> we need to chase those dollars. You know, we chased them all the way north. We got them. And then we got all the way back south. And I lost them again because I had to fix stuff. So now we got to go make more. We got to go find more dollars. And there's three loads full of dollars here for me. So we'll start with these. The guy over there is now done loading. And they were just loading one more of the local guys around here somewhere. And then they were gonna come and get me. They got tons of these things everywhere. All along here, all along there. You can see in my mirror, there's more behind me there yet. Dosa already. So it was quite involved. 35 concrete pipes or sections of pipe. Took a little bit to tie it down, but we got her done. And we're on the way. We're stopping here for a quick break. Get back on the road. We are sitting pretty heavy, but 
not even close to overweight with this Trident. So on the back here, I've got this chain on this dunnage. And it's tight, you can see it. I got it to bite into the wood. That way you know it's not gonna move. We've got three of these. This is the first of three. that same rest area. And we've got an empty trailer now. It didn't take them long to empty it. And I tried to rush back to Winnipeg, but this is as far as the logbook would let me go. And my energy is also depleted. Can't do everything in a day. I was hoping to get back to Winnipeg. Do the rest in the morning. I've got to go to bed. It was just a short little day. We're just getting going here. My other two loads fell through. So I was supposed to do three of these, right? And uh, this one worked out. They unloaded me today, a day early, but that's because tomorrow it's supposed to rain and it's supposed to pour. And the site where I delivered this to was a mud site and it was dry today, so it was no problem. But tomorrow with all the rain, guaranteed I would have gotten stuck there so they don't want any loads coming in tomorrow or Friday which is the day after so no deliveries for me I don't know if they're just being put off till next week or whatnot but tomorrow I'll have a different assignment to do they'll find me something else to do in the morning so for now let's go to bed let's get a good sleep and see what tomorrow brings Tomorrow morning, Britt is meeting with our renter uh, to uh, uh, hand off the camper. They're picking up the camper tomorrow and they have it for five days. Uh, four nights, right? Five nights. They have it for five nights, actually. So uh, it was a longer rental. That's the longest rental we've had. So well, it's only the second rental, but we have another rental booked coming up right after that. So. When it comes back, we'll have, I think, uh, two days to clean it up, which is plenty of time, and get it ready for the next person. And then by that time, we'll probably have the rest of the month booked up. Oh, man. Excuse me. So, so far, that new uh, venture and business of ours has, uh, uh, we've had some success. You know, I was kind of leery about whether or not we would get any rentals or where it would go or, you know, if we'd have any success with it. But no, so far, so far, you know, knock on wood, it's been going really well. And there's been a, a growing market for people. Because like I say, why buy your own camper trailer that you're only going to use once, maybe twice a year? Spend forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on a rig you're going to just park in storage. Why not just rent from us? It's way easier. Way easier. Then you can bring it back and hey, you can rent it again next year when you want to go out. Maybe we'll have a different model for you to rent then too. You know, we're going to get a couple of different models eventually. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's focus on trucking here. We have an empty trailer behind us now and no freight scheduled to put on it tomorrow yet. Let's hope that that changes first thing in the morning. First thing, I'm gonna go back to go straight to bed, make sure that I'm rested, awake, and ready. And as soon as the logbook allows me to, and as soon as I talk to the load gods or dispatch, I will uh, start making my way further that way. I'm in Minnedosa now, so I'm still two and a half hours away from the yard. Uh, two hours away from Winnipeg, at least. So as soon as I get direction to go that way, 
Uh, then I'll start moving. But who knows, maybe they'll send me back into Saskatchewan. I sort of stayed about halfway between Yorkton and Winnipeg. Just, eh. Depending on where the reloads are, right? They're expecting me back in Winnipeg, so I wanted to start moving that way. And then I got tired. So now I'm... We'll see, we'll see what they come up with, right? Thanks for watching today, everybody. Tomorrow, uh, tune in and figure out what we're doing together. Okay, we'll see you then. Take care, stay safe and drive safe.